Shut down. Brooks, shut down. That's still your shooting on it. A serious mishap at the state's fire training center in North Bend. Only King 5 obtained the video. It happened in October when firefighters threw gas on a fire, or more precisely, jet fuel. How did it happen and why? King 5's Chris Ingalls is here with a story you'll see only on King 5. Lori Dennis, of course, water is the basic firefighting ingredient, and firefighters thought that's what they were using during a training exercise at the Firefighting Academy in North Bend. A video camera was rolling when things went wrong. Too much flame. There's already a problem at the aircraft mock-up that Port of Seattle firefighters are using for training. It's a simulation of an aircraft wreck. When the fire unexpectedly grows too big, firefighters try to activate an automatic extinguisher system that's supposed to pour water on the flames. When the firefighters put water on uh, a fire that had been you know, deliberately developed for training, the fire got bigger instead of getting smaller. Bad enough, but it got worse when engines rolled up to extinguish the fire with aerial hoses. When one hose fires a stream of water, it bursts into a fireball. Firefighters realize that somehow the jet fuel they use to fuel their training fire is in their water lines. Two firefighters suffered slight burns in an exercise that quickly became too hot to handle. So we've shut that particular uh, training mock up down. We're having outside experts come look at both the incident itself and our oil water separator and see what we need to do to make this safe for everybody. The oil water separator, that's the device that's supposed to recycle the water used in training exercise, exercises, separate out those flammable fuels and oil. Some, that didn't happen somehow, so jet fuel was in the water tank that feeds the mock-up's fire suppression system and supplies water to the fire engines. All the water had jet fuel in it. The state patrol has hired an expert to determine if that was the fault of academy workers or a malfunctioning oil water separator or both. I'm Chris Ingalls.